Hello, this is Colleen again from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today we're answering a question that I received via email from a lady named Sandra. I don't know if she's here on YouTube, but I will be emailing her a link to this video and hopefully she will join us in the YouTube crowd. Um, here's what she says. I'm 68 years old, in good health. I've just started learning to shoot a gun for self-defense purposes. The problem I'm having is keeping my arm steady while I'm shooting. Do you have any suggestions? A lot of times this can be caused by kind of a soft elbow behind the gun or a stance that causes the gun to be out of line with your hand, okay, or with your arm. I've discussed this in previous videos, but let's just revisit that a little bit. You want your gun to be in line with the bone structure of your arm. A lot of times people will hold the gun in front of them, but if your shoulders are very broad at all, it will make it impossible to line the bone structure of your arm up with your gun. And you'll have the gun facing this way and your arms facing this way. So something that you can do to fix that problem is to adjust your feet, put your strong foot, or sorry, your support foot forward. I usually like to keep my feet at least a foot apart, if not a little bit more. Shoulders width is good. Um, put that foot pretty far forward so that you can get the strong arm solid and straight behind your gun. I like to keep my elbow almost locked. It's almost completely straight. I do not keep it bent because I don't want a lot of this type of flexing going on. I want that recoil to distribute back into my shoulder, into my back. I don't want it all to be in my elbow because I have elbow troubles. So your arm is strong and what I call it is a, a brick wall behind your gun. Um, your feet have to be adjusted so that the support sides forward in order for this to work. If your feet are parallel to one another, you're not going to be able to to get that arm solid behind your gun this way. Most people aren't going to be able to anyway, unless you're extremely narrow, okay? Um, think of your arm being a solid wall behind your gun, if that makes any sense at all. Keep your elbows almost locked, if not completely locked. Um, I would suggest almost locked, because if you let a lot of recoil distribute into one joint, you might start having joint pain. And especially if, if you're 68 years old. I know I already have arthritis trouble, so um, when you when we get up in years, we have to take precautions to not injure ourselves. So, uh, Sandra, try that next time you go to the range. Let me know if it helps you. I hope it does. I've already kind of sent you a little bit of information in an email, but sometimes it's a lot easier to say things and describe things in person. Well, this is almost in person. I'm pretending like that's you, Sandra. <laughs> Um, I hope this is helpful to some other people out there. And if you have a question that you would like addressed in a video, comment below and let me know. Thanks. God bless.